This is a quick tutorial on how to use the dictation function in Microsoft PowerPoint. I'm going to show you how to use it in both the desktop application, which you're looking at right now, as well as the online version of PowerPoint. To get started, you can see here I have a couple of slides already created in PowerPoint, and I'm going to come over here to my second slide where I have a text box that I want to add text to. Instead of typing it, I'm going to use the dictation tool, and that dictation tool is going to convert my speech into text. So you do need to make sure that you are on a device that has a built-in microphone, or you'll need to plug in an external microphone. To use the dictation tool, you're going to come up to PowerPoint, and you're going to come over to the Home tab, and then to the right, you will see the dictation feature. By clicking on the drop down underneath Dictate, you can select the language that you're going to be speaking in. And by default, mine is already on English. And then all I need to do is click on the Dictate tool to begin. This is a test of the Dictation tool, period. So you can see here, as I spoke clearly and slowly, it was able to pick up my speech and convert it to text appropriately, and it will also recognize various commands such as punctuation, um, math symbols, and there's a list of other different commands that the dictation tool will recognize so that it will put that information in for you. You can see here, if I wanted to start again, I could just click the di dictate tool again and continue it and then stop it as needed. If it made an error in the way that it converted your speech to text, your cursor will appear in the text box and you can make any necessary edits or you can just delete the content and use the dictation tool again. Now we're going to pop on over to the online version so you can just see the slight variation in where the dictate tool is located. So now we're taking a look at the PowerPoint that I was just working on in the desktop application, which was PowerPoint 2016, and I have logged into Office 365, and I have opened this PowerPoint in the online version. You can see here we know we're in the online version because we're in a browser and we have a, uh, a web address associated with this PowerPoint. So it works pretty similar um, in terms of doing the dictation tool in the online version. So you're just going to come to the slide and the text box where you want to enter your text. So let's say I want to enter my next piece of my dictation underneath here and I'm going to then ensure that I'm on the home tab and you will see the dictation tool represented by the same icon that we saw in the desktop application. And again you can use this drop down if you needed to change the language. By default mine is on English and then I'm just going to click it again. This is a test of the dictation tool online, period. So you can see here again, this was able to pick up my speech pretty well and it converted it to text. It entered in the punctuation that I asked it to. So it's a pretty good tool and a very simple tool to use. Um, and again, you can use it in both the online version of PowerPoint as well as the desktop version.